If you're driving a diesel vehicle, chances are it will have glow plugs. But what are glow plugs? Well, simply put, they're a piece of high heat and corrosion resistant material wrapped in a piece of insulating material and they heat up to between 800 to 1100 degrees Celsius in order to raise the temperature of the combustion chambers to assist in cold starting. In its simplest setup, one would hold down a push button to activate the glow plugs for a few seconds. In more modern setups, however, the glow plug system is integrated into the vehicle's starting process and is controlled by a timer or the vehicle's computer. However, sometimes things can go wrong with the system and the timer can play up, either by not turning the glow plugs on at all or not turning the glow plugs off, causing them to burn out prematurely. In any case, if you're not tech savvy, diagnosing and fixing a faulty glow plug timer could cost you some coin. So, what do you do if you're confronted with a dead glow plug timer? Well, you have a few options. Either fork out some dollars for a new genuine one, get it fixed, hit up the wreckers, possibly getting one with the same problem, or completely bypassing it with a simple aftermarket timer. There are a few types available at various prices, but to really save some money, grab yourself one of these YYC2 timer relay switches online. They're available on eBay or AliExpress for only a few dollars and are really simple to use. You can either wire them directly into the ignition switch to keep a factory style feel, or you could activate the timer with a moment switch. I use the switch from Billet Automotive Buttons because it has a built-in light and they have a variety of really funky designs to choose from. I prefer the moment switch method uh, because if it's a really cold environment, you can press it a few times before you start and also engage it while the engine's running if it still needs to warm up a little bit. I made up a copper glow plug rail to replace the factory metal one and then ran a wire from the rail to the light in the switch to indicate that the glow plugs are indeed receiving power. This also has the added benefit of helping to find faults within the system. The timer is then tucked away under the dash so I can access it easily if I need to make any adjustments to the time or to carry out repairs. Apart from the obvious cost saving, this takes any sort of computer or temperamental factory timer out of the equation and replaces it with something simple and easy to work on yourself. You just connect the timer to 12 volts and set it to trigger the glow plug relay as normal. Here's how I wired it up. So that's how you do a budget glow plug timer bypass upgrade across grade whatever grade you know hopefully it will uh, help you save a bit of money uh, if you've got any questions as always don't hesitate to ask and I'll be happy to answer them for you uh, for now have an awesome day